Hello and welcome to the Afcron, aka African Crap of Nations here, 2019 in Mauritius. We've got for you Group B, Cape Verde versus South Sudan. The last game was a 5 4 throw. Yeah, it was, exactly. But still, put pressure on these teams, especially Cape Verde, who are expecting to win the tournament, aren't we? Well, not expecting, but. They, should be, up there. Favorite, they should be yeah. competing, shouldn't they, for the tournament? Yep, and big team sheet news today. We've got Nuno da Costa's coming in for Zilawi. Zilawi had an absolute stinker in the last game. He did in front of the goal, yeah, he was a bit of a shocker. So uh, the manager has made the decision on that, hounded by the Cabo Verde media. Yep, that's Nuno da Costa in for Zilawi. To give up Nuno da Costa. Yep. And the other team remains unchanged. It does. They they played really well, didn't they, South yeah. Sudan, in that opener against Comoros? Really and we've seen Comoros have a decent second in their 5-4 victory over. Um, <coughs> Sudan. Yep, yeah, and the Stad Angela is, is, is dried out a little bit here. Yeah, it's brightened up nicely. Since the rain. I'm not a fan of that South Sudan kit. Not at all, that colour. That colour. Well, that's the, actually quite representative of the South Sudan kit in real life, so... I'm not a fan of the South Sudan kit, though. And I'm not a fan of, of just Sudan. Sudan as a nation, no. or Sudan as a divided nation? Both nations. So yeah. that one reason being... White stars. Fuck Sudan. Ooh, that's a controversial. Maybe I don't like South Sudan. What is the, what's the controversy with Sudan? Nuno da Costa there making his... Dario Drugues, the man who was winning, they defined in the last game. I thought he was a bit better. The man goal! The man who got that thrilling goal. Oh, God, it was. Oh, you look like... Uh, oh, that's it. Yep, maybe it's it South Sudan here, attack Luella and James Morker made a great little Dominic Patino scored a great goal in that last game, didn't he? Yeah, and a look at Akesh found his way onto the ball many, many a time. There are good games coming up here, I reckon. I really like the stadiums in this tournament. Yeah, nice stadium, though. Yeah. The open top is a little bit different to what we get at home. So, score prediction, James? Cape Verde should win this one, though, shouldn't we? Cape Verde. The Blue Sharks to lose this one. The Blue Sharks to win. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yes. The Blue Sharks is to lose. I think they've already won going in. Is that an ex expression you've heard yet? No. It's yours to lose. All oh, right. Oh yes. All oh, right. Yes. 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 No, I've heard that now. Yeah. So the Blue Sharks are the favourites. Yeah. Yep. It's theirs to lose. And yes. I think. Well, Cape Verde are the favourites, aren't they? So. Yeah. Yeah. The Blue Sharks to lose. Yes. Right, here we go. Stranger, it's weird, isn't that? Yep. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. No, I know what... It's theirs to lose. I can see why you think it's theirs to lose, yeah. Maybe a bit of a kick clash here. Yeah. The blue shoulder is, is <laughs> clashing a little bit more than I thought it would. <laughs> Apologies if you can't tell the difference between the two sides. I'm sure our fans are bright enough. Yeah. Well, referee says play on. Oh, the oh, right. Lord. oh. That was some good play there. A glorious start from South Sudan. Yeah, that was just a bit, a bit weak, that shot there. Was that James Morgan? Could well have been, yeah. He gets himself into these positions, though, and that's what you like to see. We do, we like to see them gambling with the ball. Good tackle there. Thomas. Arthur Thomas. <laughs> Arthur Thomas. Attack Luel finds Arthur Thomas, who is still going down this left wing. His cross just had some sting taken out of it. Yeah. Bad throw there by the keeper, and here is Attack Luel. Goalkeeper saved that one with his chest. This game's already more thrilling than the last one. <laughs> What's the thing? Much more. Or is it just the brightness of the, the brightness? Potentially, maybe it's just the serotonin levels in the stadium. Luna Rocha! What a great tackle that one was. Yeah. Last ditch. Oh, I don't know what you're calling. He did so well there. <laughs> he did. Corner comes up now for Stabilo. He's going there. For that earlier challenge. Stabilo going there. Here you go. Nice kits, them ones. I do like the keyboard kits. Yeah. Babanko with the corner. Whoops it in. Well defended. Goal! Oh, no. And it's no, Rocha with the goal. No, no, Rocha. 
and that was uh, from the corner didn't get cleared out well enough and uh, the shot there in the back of the net that is poor at number two on the edge of the box they needed to control that ball a bit better there let's keep an eye on Nuno Rocha here wins it back doesn't he after the bad first touch he does plants it to the minute Rocha is pleased with himself much pleased much pleased much pleased So we still yet to have a nil-nil, I think, I believe. I think we'll be waiting a while for a nil-nil. Thunderous! Just over the line. Was it over the line? Is it just wild? I'll have to see. A little bit of both, but just barely. Possession stolen so easily, that was just wild, yeah. The South Sudan badge there, just stickied on. They don't have the... Well, they don't have the transparent logo, do they, like anyone else? Yeah, they lack him. Good defence there, wasn't it? It was. And here they go, up front, attack Lowell. He's found, well, that's too easy for attack Lowell there. The keeper does well. He does very well, and he denies him. Wow, well, attack the well. They're toying with James Moore. That is dangerous to do though, isn't it? It is, we saw in last game. Out wide now to Nuno Rocha, the goal scorer. Nuno <laughs> Rocha. Oh, Nuno. You dirty boy, Nuno. Oh, oh he Patino. Jefferson Montero. I don't presume that's his name, but it might be. <laughs> Defender. Oh, that's a oh, nice my head there. Interesting. Stapira, is it going to be a red? No. No, surely not. Not this early on. Surely not. That's what the referee thinks. Too early on. I think we just clashed there. I don't think that was a foul. Right, okay. Oh, he nasty, wasn't flicked it? his hand out there <laughs> in a vicious manner. Yeah, I did not like what I wanted to see. Ooh, Ooh another shot wide. They're getting good shots here, aren't they? From James Morgan. Morgan. Yeah. A long ball. Headed. Controlled. Hit. That's real one stuff. Tony Mowbray at its best. Well, Tony Mowbray wished he was. Tony Pulis. <laughs> Tony Pulis is the man who plays Route 1 football. Yeah, well, Tony F P uh, Mulberry likes his passing football. That's the second time I've mistaken Tony Mulberry and Tony Junis this week. Yeah, Tony Pulis being the man who likes to bit long. The man who won't be returning to play next season, thankfully. Which, two giants about there. Not that it will mean Middlesbrough will be heading to the Premier League. Under I talk or anchor, they would be. Oh! There we go, another strike there. They're getting further away though, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, was even further away from the last one. They're finding the space though, and that's what the manager will be happy about. He will be. I'm not sure they don't know the manager, or any of the managers actually. Whoa, that's a... A feisty ball. Yeah. Had some real vigour on it. Did indeed, and the goalkeeper was <laughs> lucky there. Control it as well, he did, as well as he did. We know what you go. <laughs> Varela. Oh, Varela. When he thought he was Fabian Scher there, didn't he? And turned out to be more like. Oh, line. Someone else. Anyway, good good shot there from a tackle. They're really shooting, aren't they? They're having a lot of effort. They're just not getting anywhere near the target. South Sudan here, really. Shooting, but... Shooting wide. Shooting wide, yeah. They won't even force a goalkeeper into a save. Not really. No. <laughs> I want to laugh. But 
they really came into their own in the second half, didn't they, South Sudan, in the last game? They did. They did take a 2 1 lead in that second half, but they, they, did, they did come in their own. They found their shooting feet, you could say. Will they find them again? Shooting boots. Here's Julio Tavares. Oh, that's the only team to the goal is. It's Cape Verde. And that is Nuno. Is that his second of the game? It is. They come in bunches, as I said. These goals for these players. That was a well worked goal, actually. Mm. We don't see players cross the ball in that position. Normally they shoot, won't they? But yeah, yeah, I think it. Well, he's clearly seen that. Probably is better off to have a have a cross in that, yeah. in that area. Eyes up. Because they're basically laying it off on a plate for someone who did well to leave that. Mm -hmm. To give him a 2 0 lead. Cape um, Verde looking like the team we thought they were going to look like. Yeah. A good team, that is. Scrapping for the ball there. It's, it's are you, um, of temperate conditions here. I think the weather is a lot better. Ooh, Julio Tavares. Offside. He knew he was offside, that's why he had that rush shot there. He wasn't um, offside. He would have been called if he was offside, obviously. Referees don't miss many offside this time. Oh, well, there was a, a flag up, wasn't there? So it's strange that one didn't get called back. Because there was a flag up by the linesman. Quite confused at that one, though, James. Here's Gary Rodriguez. Gary Rodriguez finds Nuno da Costa. Is he worse or better than Z. Louis? He couldn't get it out of his a chance to see with a race, to be honest with you. I mean, there's not many players worse than Zee Louis. Even though he's rated very highly, isn't he? But Zee Louis should have had several goals in last Well, he got in the positions, but just finishing wasn't good enough. Julio Tavares. Here's Zee Louis. No, no, Da Costa. Not Zee Louis. Zee Louis can't even get his shots away, never mind. It's actually scoring. You mean Nuno Da Costa? No, no, Da Costa, yes. Yeah. Yep. Zee Louis on the brain there. Right, we both did. That's a red. Has to be. Referee says play on. And I'll bring that one back at my discretion. Oh, oh he's got another, a miss, again. another missed effort there. Oh, South Sudan. How many efforts can we put wide in one half? Does the referee bring this one back at his discretion? God, that's so cool. <laughs> Every shot. Whistling past the post. Camus. Just waiting to see the referee here. It's a yellow card. He will bring it back. Well, he's the crew. The crew. He refuses to believe it. The crew. I think mean, it's because he tried to pull out there, but not successfully. Minutes away from half time. Demilson De Cruz, I would say that's his name, wasn't it? Demilson there. Well won back there, well cut out. Here's Nuno Rocha. Let's see what happens now. Julio Tavares with the header! Oh, a fantastic header! 3-0! Has it been a 3-0 game now? I think it has, to be honest. Do you think it has? I think South Sudan are just shooting. Besides, Sudan, South Sudan have had several shots that have gone wide. They have, but that's the thing that they're just shooting. Had, yeah. No, they're not just shooting. They're having several shots wide. Some of them quite close. And well, I've seen uh, the highlights at full time, but I, I can't agree with that. It's been a clear 3 0 game. I, I think it has been. I think the finishing quality of both teams. Well, yes, thing. yeah, that's the difference. Is that you're separating these two sides on? Oh, for sure. God knows what the score will be like if Z Louis was playing. Probably nil-nil. <laughs> Probably nil-nil is correct. It is Nuno da Costa. Here he is. Is he Luis Luis replacement? That's a penalty. Surely. No. He says no. no he says that was a weird throw, wasn't it? <laughs> it was kind of a goose on type throw. Three-nil. Well, controversy to end the half there. That was surely a penalty. <laughs> I don't know. I, I thought it was a good challenge. Oh, well, that, I will, I'm sure we'll see a replay at some point, but... Half time. Okay, possession statistics suggests Cape Verde having much more of the ball. I 
I like Kate Verde, actually. I know I said I didn't like anyone in Group B, but... You think now they've gone in their mojo and kind of playing good football now? And dropping Zilo E really makes them a much more attractive football side. Yes. Uh, yeah, plenty plenty to be happy about there from Cape Verde. South Sudan, will they be happy with the performance? They've had a lot of shots and... They've had a lot of shots and one of them goes and it's a different game, but the, the shooting has been way off. Way off in that half. Well, both teams have had three shots on target, so... Yeah, that's the difference. Nine shots, three on target. That means six off target. It does mean six off target. Oh, there's, there's a couple of yellow cards there, actually. Danielson and Stopira in the mm. book already, early on. And uh, three goals in the first half. That's a lot, actually. Yeah, for one side, that's domination. It is. Is that the most we've seen in the first half? It's I think only for two one nil, isn't side, it? for one side, yeah, I would say three nils because the scoreline we've seen. Right, let's get the second half back underway and see if, if they can increase that lead. Yeah. South Sudan getting us underway in the second half. Look at Kesh. Gets tackled. Is that a free kick? It's the other way. It's gone the other way, that free kick. It's gone to Kate Birdie. Here's Isaac Medea. Who's his out there? Referee giving advantage there. Play on. In the advantage of Kate Birdie. Bruno da Costa, just sign oh. any. There's Bruno da Costa, he's the Louis replacement, as we've said a few times now. And there's no, no quality there. I don't know. Well, he still didn't score, did he? Well, he didn't miss a sitter, though. He didn't. Oh, that, oh, my word, that, that sitter. Smooths. Juma Gennaro. Oh. Here we go, he's Kit Birdie. Capitalising on the poor goal kick. Gary Rodriguez. Running down the right flank. Passes it straight to the goalkeeper's hands. <laughs> Jay Ford has wins that one back. Action in midfield. Not much else here in the second half. Ooh, G little back heel flip. Another G little back heel flip there. Here's Alokakash. Fancy feet, but didn't make any progress there. Lost yardage, in fact. And now Fares. Getting okay, big yardage down the middle. But that pass awry. He read it well, didn't he? Well, it was not very good pass, really. Oh, look at Cash with a great square ball. Actually, not that great in the end. Julio Tavares gets tackled there. And then we have Isaac Maria on the ball, who finds Oluk Akesh. He's seen playing the ball the second half, half as Oluk Akesh. Here's Isaac Maria. Hits it. Saved. Oh, what a strike there. He was on so, target that time, though. Yeah. What was the difference? Referee. Nope. Says play on. That was a good challenge. And there's David Dada running that one back. Here's a look at Akesh again. Vermeer wins that one back. But I've really. You know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You know, the Costa. Gary Rodriguez. Julio Tavares. And a good save there. Oh, it's just round the corner. Forced it wide. BBC Sport. I keep forgetting we're with BBC. We are with the BBC. Welcome to the first of June. This. Fantastic African crop of nations. If that was a better strike there, that was uh, a goal, really, honestly. Should be. Should be a 4 0 up, shouldn't they? Get ready there. Montero saved. Zach Benassio. 
finds James Morgan there. Nuno Rocha. Oh, Nuno Rocha. That was good from Nuno. Nuno Rocha. Oh, he's got tackled by his own teammate right at the edge of the box there. Leon Kamis. Well won back there by Daniel. Some fantastic stuff by the Brazilian. <laughs> Obviously he's Cabo Verdean, but there is a Danielson in the Brazil squad. That was a joke. Don't his name. Attack Loal here. Oh, it's off the upright. You couldn't see that because the camera. I don't know why I did that. Why did I do that then? A goal! Oh, oh. it's tip wide! <laughs> ah. James Mulder there with what happened. It was a goal initially, but I thought it was just going to drop in like yeah. Nice turn, nice shot. The save was poor, but just. Oh, the save was good. The save was good. I like that save. He kept it out the net. It's Divided away from the goal. Here's James Morgan on corner duties. Middle of the box there. The volley! Goal! The goal there for Uso Kamis. That's an unusual celebration. Leon Kamis, yes, with the goal. And then he pulls Salsadan back into the game. Big strike there. <laughs> Good headed clearance, but Uso Kamis bangs that one in on the volley. And celebrates like a, uh, some kind of bird. A bit like Evgeny Kuznetsov celebration in the National Hockey League, huh? The Washington Capitals, man. Strange. Julio Tavares. Julio Tavares still has it. No, he doesn't. He spoke too soon there. He's four days. Stop her. Gary Rodriguez. Gary Rodriguez crosses it. It was too near the front post, that one. You know, venom on it for the header to be. Goal down. Isaac Manuel. Shot there, but Vazina on it well. Montero now. Looks like Kate Bird should shut this one out, but we've seen stranger things and going from two goals down. Oh, indeed. Well, to win the game. Yeah, Kate Bird, you definitely, I think, have had too much quality in this game. See, well, not really shown in the second half, though. Julio Tavares, big save, massive save there. Only as far as Danielson, Montero. A shot, oh, another save. Bruno Rocha, Julio Tavares. Turns but couldn't get enough swaz on that one. So big save coming in here. It is. He did well to turn there in space, but finish just disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> that was risky, wasn't it? That pass. Oh. Is, the, is, the, is the referee going oh, to That's just cynical. Off? That is cynical from the goalkeeper there. Keeper made a mistake. He's off. Oh. So you will miss yeah. the final game. Janelle. That's you, isn't it? He didn't need to do that. I'm sorry, he did not need to do that. They were going to lose anyway. Yeah, they were, were 3 1 down. He does not need to make a challenge like right that. Mm. He begs. For what, for, what, for, what, for what reason? Well, South Sudan made the mistake there. and have seen an all going goal unless the substitute goalkeeper comes on. Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm not. There is no substitute goalkeeper for this side. It's so all going goal. So, um, um, James Morgan's going to go in. Okay. Yep, James Morgan's going in net there. 
God, he's little less than from, from pitching one should have picked something bigger. Hit the wall there though, that free kick. The crowd are stunned. It's quiet, it's so silent. <laughs> the look at Kesha there, wins that one back. Just shooting a Cape Bird, but there's not enough time. Oh no, there is enough time. It's a free kick. <laughs> it's offside. It's offside anyway. Do a good job. Hits this one. He's just going to hit it all over the field and hope it goes in the back of the net. <laughs> Dominic Pratino. Wow, the crowd, the crowd's very quiet, isn't it? Dominic Pratino. Penalty. Well, we've ended up in fouls here. It's the last minute. You're one man up. Why have you done that? Why are you doing that there? Yeah, I just thought it was going to be a goal. I don't know. <laughs> And it wasn't that, that bad of a challenge, actually. No. I mean, obviously, any contact in the box is... Babanko. Vogler! And his goalkeeper well, kick! the goalkeeper's <laughs> taken the penalty here. And he's hit this one with some venom, hasn't he? Oh, oh. he's hit the upright! Oh! James Mugger rushing back to his goal here. Oh. And that's full time. And the fuck did he rock it? Harsh there from the unprofessional commentator beside me. <laughs> we wanted to see the open net goal. 3 yeah. 1. Cape Verde. Well, one from. Well, to, yeah, yeah, they do. They do. I don't know whether it was as comfortable as it. Perhaps. Looked. No, it, um, it was a very comfortable game, that one. Do you think? In both halves, I think. South, Cape Verde had the better of South Sudan. Some highlights here. Let me put some music on for you. There's some music. Attack the while with an early shot, the ninth minute saved. Correct form there by the goalie. Luno Rocha with the goal. It's a good goal. It's a volley, which is nice. Oh, no, it's not a volley. It's not a volley at all. But it's a nicely struck strike. <laughs> Sorry, what? Sh Steve McLaren's next to me. Yeah, she is. with the early lead attack the well here could have equalised it using all the all signs all sorts of space but goalie did well that was a good shot actually just the goalie did fantastically yeah yeah good so then here's Nuno Rocha scoring he's had the Russian jeans on that's a nice goal the cross from Julio Taravez. He did a lot of the good work there, did Julio. Yeah. Do not watch against the credit for it, though. Lead on a point for him. Two now. Second goal of the day for Nuno. And then a third. And then he got an assist here, did Nuno. Good game for him, man of the match, probably. Yeah. We will see shortly, but I would say so. That's a fabulous header. Beautiful. Looping header, yeah. Just nicks under the bar. I think Maria has a little bit of a, an effort here. Stands up well, the goalkeeper. He does, he stands up very straight. <laughs> Saw how he did that. <laughs> Julio Tavares. Yeah, this is a just slide from Julio Tavares. Good save. In the end, the man who will not be playing in the next game. You will see the sub goalkeeper. Do a send off. Yep, yeah, is Jefferson Montero taking the strike. Another good save. No, they will miss him. Cape Verde's definitely the stronger of the two sides, I'd say. Yep, yeah, Cape Verde on four points now. Here's James Morgan taking a, a shot. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. Thought it was going in, didn't I? It did, thought it was dropping in. Was a good goal. This one from the other one. Actually, that was the volley I was thinking of. The, the hard volley. Yes. A lot of goals have been going in from corners recently. Actually, it's been beginning to open up as the tournament went on. Tavares gets a shot away here. Goal stands up well. Made himself big. And I'm sure that hit him in the face or something. Hit him on the chest. Or... Here's Montero. 
87th minute. Mind you, he just kept making saves, didn't he? They would be massive missing that next game. Should not have got himself sent off, especially since there's no substitute goalkeeper. Not at all? Not at all. They didn't bring one with them to the tournament. Oh, my word. In fact, that country does not have another goalkeeper in its ranks at all. <coughs> Ooh, that could be in it. Finn's going to play there, then. So, Jumma Janat, well, as we saw, James Moga was fantastic as goalkeeper. They never had to make a save. <laughs> <laughs> I could cost them. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, the goalkeeper taking the penalty. What a shame for a great side who were great in the opening game. That's the name for these it, we've had so, isn't it? Of the four penalties we've had, only one has been converted. Oh, in the tournament so far? Yeah. Two. Two have been converted. Oh, well. Three one. have been missed for sure. Yes, yeah, you, you scored a penalty, haven't you? scored with... Uh, First penalty, yeah. First penalty. Yeah, and I, I scored one earlier, didn't I? Oh, right. Yep. I remember that one now. Yeah. Goalkeeper that kind of didn't really yes. attempt to save that one. We've had more misses than goal, so. Nuno Rocha there, the man of the match. Fair play, I think. That's one of the more well deserved man of matches. Yep. Nuno da Costa with only a 5 point or the Cape Verde in the third game. Next round. Uh, Zilo E might, might have to play in the third game. You might have to. Mm-hmm. Just because it's a... It's, no, it's a, it's a, a game. Formation they change. just need to... Just get rid of the second striker. They need to win that. No, no, they need to just win the group, don't they? Playing um, they Comoros need, yep, in that final game. Yeah. Comoros coming into that game with a big chance to go through and knock both the Sedan sides out. Well, I, I think... South Sedan on three. Sedan on one point. You've got uh, Cape Verde on four, and you've got Commerce on three, so... Let me just end the result here, and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what the table looks like. Cape Verde three, South Sudan one. Sorry for stepping out the chair there. <laughs> so, Cape Verde three... Oh... Yeah, South Sudan. One. So the table looks like this. Cape Verde top on four points. South Sudan second on with three points. Comoros third on three points. And Sudan last on one point. But tied on goal difference with Comoros. But so it's a big game, that last game we've done South Sudan and Sudan. That'd be a big one. It'd be a huge run, yeah. And especially Comoros and Cape Verde. Well, you have to say Sudan are the favourites in that one now, unfortunately. With Jumo Gennaro out of it. Yeah, you'd have to say. So, be really relying on Comoros to prevent Zodan going through here. Yeah. Well, have we got a trait in store for you Group B fans, of which there should be zero? I think you're being harsh to the Group B. I'm not being harsh. I'm just being truthful. So, that's it for... Another day of... We, is it Wednesday today? Afcon action. Yep. Yes, it is. Yep. Wednesday. Wednesday. So see you tomorrow, Thursday. More games. Two more games, as is... Um, expect, expected. Yep. Um, see you then. <laughs>